In our ongoing series on cholesterol-lowering medication, we've covered statins, azetamibe, bempedoic acid and vasquepa. Now we're turning the spotlight on fibrates with the most commonly used ones known as bezafibrate, phenofibrate and gemfibrozil. These medications play a crucial role in breaking down fats and are especially effective at reducing triglycerides. So if you are curious if fibrates are similar to statins or what their side effects might be, stick around as I answer these common questions from my clinic. So let's get started with what are fibrates. Fibrates are medications to help lower triglyceride levels and increase the levels of HDL, sometimes known as good cholesterol. So what are triglycerides? Triglycerides are a certain type of fat transported in the blood, mostly after a meal and then stored in fat cells. High triglycerides are associated with heart disease and metabolic syndrome such as insulin resistance that leads to diabetes. High triglycerides can also cause pancreatitis, an inflammation of the pancreas gland, and high triglycerides are also associated with certain cancers, dementia, infertility, fatty liver and more. So how do fibrates work? They reduce the amount of VLDL your liver makes. VLDL particles carry triglycerides to other parts of your body. By limiting how much VLDL your body makes, these medicines lower your triglyceride levels. And fibrate drugs also increase the amount of two apolipoproteins your liver makes. These two proteins help create HDL or good cholesterol. So fibrates work in a completely different way to statins, another type of cholesterol-lowering drug that I do talk about in more detail in another video and I will leave a link for down below. So who should use fibrates? To reduce the risk for heart disease, your healthcare provider will likely prescribe them together with statins. Or Fibrates can be prescribed for those who cannot tolerate a statin or fibrates may be the only medicine that you take to lower triglycerides and to reduce your risk of pancreatitis. So what are the side effects? Now some people may experience abdominal pain, constipation, diarrhea, dizziness, headaches, leg cramps, so what are the severe side effects? Call your healthcare provider right away if you experience muscle pain or weakness, severe or persistent stomach pain, skin rashes, yellowing of the skin. And what are the interactions with other medications? The fibroids can increase the effects of some blood thinners. If you take warfarin, your clinician may need to adjust your dose to decrease bleeding risks. Gemfibrozil, a specific type of fibrate, can interact with certain statins such as simvastatin and lovastatin. So who should not take fibrates? Fibrates aren't right for everyone and you may not be able to take them if you're pregnant or breastfeeding or if you have allergies if you have diabetes, if you have gallbladder, liver or kidney conditions, or if you have scheduled surgery or dental work. So is there any monitoring? Now, if you take both fibrates and statins together, your healthcare provider will closely monitor for side effects because some people may have an increased risk of muscle problems. So you may have a blood test to monitor your liver function and creatine kinase levels. So if you are looking for a cholesterol lowering alternative to statins, fibrates are mostly used for lowering triglyceride levels in patients whose levels are very high and could cause pancreatitis. While they have a modest effect on lowering LDL or bad cholesterol, about 15 to 20 percent, there isn't consistent evidence to suggest that they do actually reduce the risk of heart attack or strokes. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and please share your thoughts or experiences in the comments section 
and you can also watch my other videos especially on how to lower cholesterol naturally. Thank you for watching.